All right, guys, uh, apologies that uh, I've been gone all week. I'm feeling a bit better, so I'm hoping to be here on Thursday. But I just want to go over uh, entry on notes with you real quick and then uh, the reading as well. So watch the two videos and then we'll take it easy uh, heading into tomorrow. Okay, so uh, force is an action that changes a body's state of rest or motion. So anything that uh, make something go from rest to motion or motion to rest um, is a force. It has a magnitude and a direction that means size and it points. So I think like velocity has a direction and it has a speed to it. That'd be a magnitude and a direction. That's a, a vector. Um, so objects either have balanced or unbalanced forces. Unbalanced forces cause change in motion, right? If we're pulling in a tug of war with equal situations, um, you're not going to get any movement, but I have unbalanced forces that causes motion. And Newton was the first person to relate forces with motion with his laws, which we'll review more uh, here. So his laws say that an object at rest remains at rest or an object in motion remains in motion unless it experiences unbalanced force. So here the ball is at rest until it receives the unbalanced force of the kick that causes the ball to go in. Same thing. Uh, the little uh, beaker on the, sorry, test tube on the slot, uh, skateboard here is in motion until it hits the rock. The skateboard stops, but the object in motion continues in motion. Um, force is equal to mass times acceleration. So when I apply a force, I move a mass with a certain acceleration. In his third law, every action, there's an equal and opposite reaction, right? So the, this uh, comes out with a certain amount of force from the uh, extinguisher and pushes them on the chairs. So um, your body weight is a force. It's mass times the acceleration of gravity and pounds is just a different way to calculate that. So weight changes when gravity changes, which changes with the um, object. And mass changes when you go from the earth to the moon. Um, and that's, that's it, okay? So then you're gonna do the uh, homework, which is this folder as well. So you put the definition in your words in a drawing with two or more colors and you should upload that as well. All right, thanks. Now move on to the second video with the reading.